Diamondbacks, Sidewinders, Fisheye Dodgers, and Fisheye Pros with the patented Moon Crackle Tape, FHS Dodgers flat out perform. Get yours now at fishhuntshoot.com. Man, he is putting up a fight. Right there, beautiful rainbow. Nice. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. I'm up in the High Sierras, I'm at French Meadows Reservoir this morning, and uh, it's kind of a unique situation. Um, I've got a little bit of chop right now. According to the forecast, this chop is, is supposed to just about die uh, by eight o'clock, it's seven o'clock now. Um, but by 11 o'clock, the wind is supposed to really come on strong and it's supposed to really be blowing here. Now, I started out, first half an hour, I started out power trolling with, uh, with spoons, uh, trigger spoon magnum and a speed spoon. Um, I worked some structure really quickly. Um, that didn't pay off. I don't have a ton of time to fish today because of that wind forecast. So I'm changing over to one of my money presentations, which is gonna be a, um, a four inch rainbow pattern, fisheye pro dodger, the eye on both sides, the moon crackle tape. I'm gonna pair this with a threaded worm. I'm gonna pull off a worm leader here. Eh, that one's a little long, but we'll just we'll shorten that up a little bit. I want it about, I don't know, I would say 16 inches, 14 inches, something like that. Um, while I rig this up, let's talk a little bit about summertime trout fishing, and let's talk about dodgers. Now, if I were down in a lowland reservoir, uh, maybe Folsom Lake, maybe Shasta, something like that. A big impoundment with a ton of bait. If I were running a dodger down there, I would be using it to draw fish in from a distance and I would want a six inch blade. I'd want a six inch fisheye, a six inch fisheye pro, a six inch sling blade, something like that. Something that has a lot of flash, a lot of vibration that can pull fish in from, you know, a good distance away. Um, up here in the high Sierras, the situation's a little bit different. Now, I'm not saying that six inch blade won't work because they will work up here sometimes, but this is a this is a different situation. Up here, I'm not really trying to draw fish in from a distance. These fish are fairly aggressive. The water's fairly clear. It's not that deep. It's a relatively small lake, you know, when all is said and done. So, whoa. So along those lines, what I'm really using the Dodger for is just to kind of close the deal. I want some flash, I want some vibration, but I don't want to scare the fish out of the water. I don't need to pull fish in from great distances. I don't need to pull fish up in the water column because it's not super deep. I don't need to mimic, you know, open water predators feeding on bait fish. What I really need to do up here in the high Sierras is just kind of trigger their curiosity, bring them in and let them see that worm, let them taste the worm, and that's usually enough to close the deal. Um, so basically up when I'm fishing the high country, um, I'm fishing small dodgers. That's the bottom line. Curiosity. I'm gonna troll along here at about 1.5 miles an hour. I'm gonna put a worm down deep, about 15 feet behind the small blade. And I'm probably gonna, you know, run a trigger spoon junior up in the top five, something like that. So how we rig up a small blade or a large blade for that matter. Of course, up here in the high Sierra, I'm fishing the top 25 feet of the water column. So I'm not running a dodger or I'm not running a downrigger. Um, I am just running lead core. Um, my top shot, I got a bead on the line just so I can see where the, where the junction is. But uh, my top shot comes down to a trolling swivel. 
I snapped that trolling swivel right into the top end of the Dodger. Got the leader trailing behind it, and all I need to do now is uh, grab a worm. Grab one of my night crawlers here. Let's grab one. I want to run about oh an inch and a half to a two inch piece of crawler. Um, okay, I've got it. So whenever you're threading a worm, you want to go into the rear end of the worm first, slide the worm all the way up the threader, and come right out through the head. Now, you got the worm secured like that. Take your slow death hook, insert it in the hollow end of that worm threader, pull that line tight, and push that crawler right over the top, just like that, right down past the eye of the hook, right onto the line, and uh, what we're going to end up with is a crawler that has a perfect spin behind that dodger that's throwing out the flash and vibration. And I don't think it's going to take us too long to hook a fish in this combo. I'm going to move us offshore. I'm going to get out over the channel. I'm going to run this blade at 15 feet deep. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we're yelling fish on real soon. So to kind of wrap up about the dodgers, you know, if you find yourself in a big impoundment, deep water, um, you know, it's summertime, maybe the thermocline is starting to, you know, stratify. Um, maybe the fish are just scattered. Maybe the thermocline isn't starting to build yet. But, you know, it's that, that spring to summer transition zone. Bottom line is, big open water reservoir, you want to be using a big, bold blade because you need that big six-inch blade to put out enough flash and enough vibration to pull those fish in from a distance. They hear that blade, they see the flash, they think there's some kind of open water predator feeding on bait fish, they come in, they see your spoon, and it's fish on. Up in the high Sierras, the situation's a little different. You need to be subtler. Typically, if you're using the blades, you're using the dodgers is because the bite's a little bit off or you want a high percentage presentation, and you're gonna be using that blade with a threaded worm, threaded gulp, a grub, a fly, a small fly, something like that. Um, so dodgers are useful in the high country, they're useful in the low country. It's just a, a different style of dodger, different size dodger, and kind of a different philosophy in terms of the presentation. Um, when I'm down in the low country, I rarely, you know, don't have a dodger on my line, you know, when I'm out exploring, when I'm looking for fish. Here in the high country, man, it's kind of 50-50 or less. I don't run dodgers a ton. Um, when I run them, it's when I, you know, I'm either having a tough day or I need to get on the fish quickly like today I got a few hours to fish and the wind is gonna push me off. So high country small blades low country big blades and uh, In terms of your small blades, you know, you want a variety of different actions You want a blade like my small fisheye pro that you can bend you can tune you can get a ton of action out of it at low speed Like right now I'm going 1.2 um, I know it's down there, it's working. Um, but you also want some blades that have a subtler action, like my, my Diamondback. It has a very, you know, compact rolling action for times when the bite is, is really off, when, the, when it's, you know, the, it really requires a, a subtle presentation. So just, you know, have some blades with some different types of action. If you're looking for blades, go on over to the fishhuntshoot.com website. Check out all the blades I offer on the website. And you'll see my spoons and rods too. Um, I'm wrapping up for now. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want, hit that bell notification deal down there. And you will always know when I'm here on YouTube talking about trout fishing or whatever I'm talking about. Um, anyway, once again, high country, go small. Um, vary the action, match the action to the temperament of the fish. You're going to be yelling fish on. Um, down in the reservoirs, go big, go bold. Pull those big open water predators in and, uh, you know, then get them, you know, they, they get a visual of that offering you're, you're pulling. They get a get a visual of your trigger spoon or your cast master or whatever you're pulling and it is fish on. I'm out of here for now. I'm trying to get a hookup on right here. I'm Kel Kellogg. I will catch you next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Fish on right there. Right there, I barely stopped talking. I got a fish on four inch Fish Eye Pro in the rainbow pattern. Um, a little bit of chop here, the wind kind of surged up a little bit. So it's gonna be a little challenge to keep the, the kayak straight, but uh, hopefully using that worm, I got the fish well hooked. And uh, 
Let's see what it is. I suspect it's a nice little holdover rainbow. French Meadows is full of them. Man, he is putting up a fight. Right there, beautiful rainbow. Nice. Awesome high Sierra rainbow right there. He is going back in, what a dandy fish. Couldn't lay off that worm and blade. It's money, it's money in the high Sierra. Woo, there he goes. <laughs>